and parents get the chance to sound off about the bus problems that they've been battling for months. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. The district created a new online survey to discover trouble spots. Alexa Ashwell caught up with a parent voicing his concerns and shows how you can do the same. Alexa? Well, Mark and Michelle, since August, we've received dozens of phone calls into our newsroom from upset parents concerning their child's bus service. Dayton Public School officials say they are well aware of most of these issues and want to improve. That's why they're asking parents to sign on and share their thoughts. How frequently do you speak with DPS Transportation Management? If I can get through to anybody, one that you... Robert Brady is taking full advantage of the opportunity for his thoughts and concerns to be heard by Dayton Public School officials through this nine-question survey. Please rate the quality of service you receive from DPS bus drivers. That's poor. Brady says the trip to and from school for his seven-year-old son has been a bumpy ride. He says the bus drivers are never on time, don't talk to parents enough, and need more training. There should be training for this. There's a lot of new bus drivers I know, but they need better training, and then they need better coordination, and primarily they need to contact parents when there's a problem. The survey also allows parents to leave any additional comments. Brady is hoping by filling this out, things will change. DPS officials say that's their goal, too. We're always seeking uh, ways to improve, and this is something that's definitely going to help us um, uh, learn areas where we need to pinpoint improvements that need to be made, and we'll definitely be taking the results of this survey uh, uh, very seriously. Now, parents have from now until December 7th to fill out this survey. We provide the link to it on our website, WDTN.com. Click on web links on our homepage. And if you don't have a computer, head on over to your local library. Reporting live, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News on your side.